In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down what I believe to be one of the better blitzes in Madden 24. This is after uh, the patch, and so I wanted to just kind of break this defense down for you. Now, this is a, going to be a blitz setup, a send four. You can also send five with this blitz, um, but you can also play coverage out of it. And it is the cover two press. Now, this is found in the multiple defensive playbook or the four six defensive playbook. If you're running Chiefs, you need to be doing this out of free safety. It's like, I think it's called like free safety zone blitz. I actually think overload three seam might be better um, after the patch, but you could also do it out of free safety zone blitz. Now, really important for this defense, you want to make sure that auto flip is the de uh, defense play call is turned off. And all you're going to do to set the splits up is you're just going to pinch your defensive line or your linebackers, and then you're going to spread your uh, you're going to spread your line. And I think it makes it blitz work a little bit better if you blitz your user. Now, all you're going to do at the snap of the ball, you're actually going to stay back here, and you're just going to try to turn that tackle inside. And this blitz is not 100. percent It's a send four pressure, and they actually targeted trying to patch blitzes like this in the most recent title update. However, uh, I have found that this blitz does still work actually pretty good online, and you're only sending four people. Okay. You're only at the end of the day, you're only sending four people. And so this blitz can uh, certainly still work for you. As you see right there, that time we got a little disengage up the middle. Now, if you want to take this blitz to the next level, the next thing that you can do to make this blitz really effective is go ahead and blitz that slot corner over there on that left-hand side by blitzing that slot corner. You'll see that that a gap is going to be a little bit cleaner and more times than not, you're going to be able to kind of get that pressure in. Now, the beauty of this is you can kind of go between the four and the five man pressure. And if you're mixing up the four and the five man pressure, what will oftentimes happen is the pressure will uh, still come in regardless of what they're able to do. So this is just the biggest thing with this blitz is it makes your opponent uncomfortable and they're going to have to they're going to have to do things like block their running back. They're going to slide their line. Uh, to try to pick this blitz up. And then once they start to do that, it limits the route combinations um, that they can run. Now, another way that you can kind of set the splits up if you want to try to make it a little bit more effective out of the four man is you can kind of stand down in here a little bit. As you see, it can help. It can kind of help that uh, A gap pressure sometimes. I will say if you're sending the five man, uh, this is a little bit of a tell. But if you're sending the five man, I have found that you definitely want to stay back. If you're sending the four man, then I've found that you definitely want to actually go up to the line of scrimmage. And that does uh, kind of play a little bit of a factor here. So again, we're just pinching our line, uh, spreading our linebacker. This time we're going to come down here and hover. And as you can see, even if it doesn't come in, notice that it pushes that pocket back. And it's just an uncomfortable defense to have to face down uh, after down because you don't really know if it's going to come in or not. The other thing is, again, if they are uh, you know, blocking their running back or something like that, sometimes this five man, you can actually still get this up the A gap. And again, this pressure is just very uncomfortable. Now, what's really important with this defense is that you don't spam this blitz unless you're playing somebody that's not really the good player. You really want to go ahead and, you know, maybe mix up some coverages. For example, maybe take that linebacker and cross man him on the tight end. That's going to do a good job of taking away uh, the bunch verticals uh, tight end wheel. And then you can kind of run this little three man crash down disengage alongside of your send four, send five pressures. I think that's the best way to play defensive Madden is to kind of mix up your different pressure looks. Are you sending five? Are you sending four? Are you sending three? And you're kind of making those decisions based off how is your blitz doing and are they blocking their running back? But as you can see, if you can mix up your play calls, a lot of times this blitz defense is going to be very effective for you. And again, the setup for this, just pinch your line. And then really that's honestly it. Um, you can spread your linebackers or not. It's up to you. I find that if the linebacker, um, you know, goes into the a gap, then you can obviously spread him out. And then of course, if you want to send five, I really recommend keeping your user backed off and it'll make that a gap come in a little bit more effectively. Thanks for watching the video guys. If you want to get my entire dollar three, two completely revamped defensive ebook, it is available by joining the Patreon for just $10. You'll not only get access to the best offensive and defensive ebooks in the game, but we've updated a ton of them, including this dollar uh, that's got a complete revamp. And what good is a blitz without the coverage behind it? We teach you the best coverages in this game, the best way to take this blitz and actually use it against the best formations in the game. We teach you how to stop everything. Uh, bunch, trips, tight, U-trips, bunch tight in, spread, two by two spread, five wide sets pro sets, the run, all of that stuff. So thanks for watching the video, guys. And if you want to sign up for the Patreon to get the full ebooks on this stuff, make sure that you do that by heading down to the description and uh, clicking the link down below.